Sessions. I'm Kevin. And uh, before we get started, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's right about there. Ring that bell if you want to be notified of future cooks. Um, today I'm going to do some chicken drumsticks and thighs together on this uh, nice little Cuisinart tool that I got. I picked it up over at Walmart. Here, check it out. Here's the Cuisinart 4-in-1. On the back side it shows you pictures of the uh, rib rack. You can set up your ribs in there. Oh, smoke a whole chicken, beer can chicken, or chicken drumsticks. All in one year. Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? Well, here it is. It's a wire rack. There's uh, for putting your ribs. You want to set your ribs in here. It's a rib rack. Uh, it comes with these little uh, attachments for the side that'll hold your drumsticks. on like that both sides it also comes with the uh, little attachment for beer can chicken and that just uh, connects on the inside just like that we're not doing beer can chicken today but we're gonna use this rack it's a pretty handy little uh, tool to have uh, if you don't have one they're pretty affordable I think it was only like 20 bucks at Walmart anyway we're gonna get started check this out For these drumsticks and thighs, all I did was trim a little of the fat, the excess skin, I mean, off of the uh, thighs. And then we're just going to spray them up with some olive oil, get my garlic pepper on there, and then my uh, chicken and pork rub that I make. Let's get it all on there. There's my little buddy. <laughs> Do the other side, garlic pepper and rub. Just like that. And then we're gonna uh, take it outside and we're gonna put it on that Cuisinart rack that I was showing you earlier. Uh, I just got this thing, so check this out. Let's get them outside. Okay, here's that Cuisinart rack and it holds six drumsticks on each side. So we're just gonna put six on one side, get six on the other. Now you can put whatever you want in the center. Uh, the picture shows a big chicken in the middle, but uh, we have eight thighs. And we're just gonna line these up in the middle and cook them all at the same time on the Pit Boss Pro Series 1100. Now that we got those all situated, check that out. Woo! Okay, now let's get them inside the smoker. Carefully. I'm just going to set them right here in the center. We're rolling at 300 degrees today. I'm going to let them go for about 30 minutes and then we will check them, take a temp on them and see how they're doing. We'll be right back. Look at that smoke roll. Must have just dumped some pellets. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. It went up to 310, 315, so it just dropped some pellets. All right. Let's check this chicken out. Oh, first, let me just show you this. We got some uh, smoked beans going over here on their little Pit Boss tailgater. They're running at 225, so we didn't put them in with the chicken. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay. Let's take a temp probe. Like we're running on 65. So these uh, thighs they look like they're about done. We're going to let them roll up to about 170, 175. And these drums are what, 162. We're going to let this go probably be about 10 more minutes, maybe 15. We want to get the temp up 170 to 180. Yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, these are done. Let's get these off. Gotta be real careful. They don't quite fit on my cookie sheet, so I gotta let them hang over a little bit. Look at those. Man, these are gonna be good. So, let's get these inside. There you go. Woo! Chicken drumsticks and thighs. Man, you gotta love it. This uh, rack did a really good job on these chicken thighs and drums, don't you think? <laughs> That's a yes. Look at that. Okay, plate it up with some corn and beans and enjoy. Woo, look at that. Mm.